And hello all of my fellow nerds out there, this is Oracle Nerd Richie, and welcome back to our Cinderella. Whew. Alright, so, I am feeling kind of exhausted today, but I wanted to get this video out at least, so... So, this time, we're, we we done Genzo's route, we done Olam's route, now we're gonna be doing Gidget's route. <laughs> so, let's just go ahead and just get into that. That's Gidget. Hey, Gidget. Oh! Well, what's that reaction? Just can't believe you texted me, lol. You never text me. I never really text anybody. That does seem pretty accurate. I honestly don't know how you how you do it. I constantly got like 10 co plus combos going on. My god. Well, I'm involved in a lot of stuff. So it's not like it's all casual pleasantry. I still would lose my mind. My max is like one combo per day. Poor unfortunate soul. I didn't I didn't choose the hermit life, the hermit life chose me. Just so long as you don't die in there and your corpse is covered in 20 years. Eh, that'd never happen. My parents would notice that after five at least. Maybe sure my little max will check Sarah on you more than that. <coughs> but you are her only flesh and blood after all. You're right. It would only take three years. You're too much. I have to ask though. Mm-hmm. Stop distracting me. <laughs> Iggy fucking Maxwell. Did you fucking Bordell? You're ridiculous. But returning to my original point. What about the taste then text it? I need a reason to text my lovely and dear friend. When I can read your insecurities like a book, you fucking do. Okay, yeah, I guess. <laughs> You can't just text me out of the blue and not expect me to send the loop. Send, text me, send me for a loop. <laughs> We've been friends for too long for that. Mm, I guess I was just doing the damn shit. This wouldn't have anything to do with the P A R T Y, would it? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Iggy, look, you you really don't have to come. I realized I was probably being a bit overbearing with her. And that's because I do think it would be nice if you were there. But your own comfort levels take precedence. Yeah. I'm being serious. I know. I'll, I'll think about it. <coughs> it's not like I hate the idea of going. <coughs> it's just a lot, though. That and I have literally zero things to wear. Why does that not surprise me? I have a clothing regimen like the chinchilla. Well, you're not wrong there. I even got the ears to match. Okay. Okay, now that I'm thinking about this, Carrot, if you do not draw Iggy as a chinchilla, I swear. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, at least chinchillas are cute. You could order something. Probably could find something pretty cheap online. Yeah. I'll take a look. You don't seem too enthused. This is not my- is this not my enthused face? That's your slowly folding in on yourself face. Accurate. Well, whatever you decide, you can always come to me for help. <clears throat> Even if it's just to bemoan the tribu tribulations of the outside world. You make it sound like I've never even seen the sun. Am I that far from the truth? Well, no I guess. I do have to get groceries from time to time, though. An arduous quest. You got that right. Um, thanks, though. That's nice of you. It is nice to talk to someone every now and then. <coughs> of course! I'll see how it goes. With the party prep, I mean. Maybe I'll surprise you myself. <laughs> I'm not just stress just about it. As impossible as that may seem, well, I'll try now, too. And Iggy? Hmm? It was nice talking with you. Yeah, you too. Not that face again! <laughs> I, I, I like Gidget. She's funny sometimes. She, They are very funny sometimes. Oh, and I guess he's doing his exercise recommend. Um... Okay, let's look at the top. 
Um, okay, I want uh, for this one. I want to try to get the, the jumbo Kirby plush. I want to get the Kirby plush so badly. Um, okay. Um, let's go ahead and work. Young man works diligently all day long. Also, sixty-seven bucks. Nice. That was incredibly lucky. We got 160 on the spot. Fourth day. Okay. Alright, um, I'll just go ahead and skip to the next Gidget conversation. So, I'll see you all later. Alright, I'll to the next Gidget conversation. Gidget, do you think I'm weird? Huh? Do you? What kind of question is that? <sighs> I... I don't know. Sometimes I just look at my life and wonder... Biggie, is everything okay? Are you going through a crisis? No, no, no. Fine. Just full of thoughts. I see. Well, what do you mean by weird? Hmm... Well, just like... Everybody else has gotten out there and done something. With respectable jobs and responsibilities. You have a job? You're literally freelance. I know. But it feels different somehow. Like, not a real job or something. How is it not a real job? Well, my parents are always worried about me. And even I get anxious about it a lot. <laughs> At, like, having stable work. Not to mention the fact I get no benefits. Or retirement funds. Do I need a 401k? I don't understand any of this and it stresses me out so much. Ah, oh, I get that. That kind of that kind of stuff is really overwhelming. If I if I had a real job, I, like a real adult, I would have to, to worry less, I think. Okay, I'm gonna put this out there now, like my personal opinion. If you do something and you get paid for it, that's a job, okay? Even if it's just mowing your neighbor's lawn and they pay you for it, that's a job, okay? And a job doesn't have to be anything normal out in the real world. It could be a YouTuber, like what I'm trying to be, you know? Like, like you see, like see, you see people up, like there's a, there's literally a, a, there was literally a five-year-old kid that does toy reviews and he got paid for it, for doing YouTube videos of toy reviews. I think Iggy will be fine. Maybe... Maybe not. Do you want to go in the, in, into an office every day? No. <laughs> See? But that just comes back to be, me being weird. Other people can handle it. Why can't I? Everybody's different, Iggy. Yeah, different in all the same ways. You, you work for a big design firm. Orlum has a gazillion clients. Gento has an entire shop he saved up for, for and runs. Bucks is a shift manager. Oh, actually, I didn't know that about Bucks. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I never leave my apartment. My apartment is filled with... My apartment is filled with game paraf... paraf Paraphernalia, where I'm either at my computer or on my TV every hour of the day. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It's what brings you joy. I just don't feel like an adult. Hey, I mean, I don't either. I think that's pretty common. At least in our generation. Yeah, that's true. I just feel like I'm on a different plane sometimes. Everything feels so much more difficult than, and for me than, for me than it seems like it does for others. Have you ever talked about this to anyone, to anyone else about this? Besides me, obviously. No. Well, maybe start there. But I hate talking to people. I mean, uh, I meant online, Dorcas. You don't even have to leave the apartment. Oh. Hmm. Just a thought is all. Maybe you can find others with similar feelings. Yeah, maybe. 
because I mean as much as I do love talking to you, it would probably be nice for you to have others too. Trying to get rid of me, I see. I am not. I literally just need it for your own health and sanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You getting up at anything tonight? Why, you gonna invite me on a hot date? No! <laughs> I was just making a casual conversation! I'm just yanking your chain. Please don't, I have a very tender neck. <laughs> oh my god, you really make me lose my mind sometimes. Cecil and I are grabbing dinner tonight. Wait, Cecil? The butler guy from our Wonderland? <laughs> oh, Ruby date night? Something like that. Wow. Oh, shit, actually, that's a good reminder. I should have left like five minutes ago. Help! Oh, already. I'm going, I'm going. You know how he gets. You think I don't? Thanks for the talk, though. That's actually rather nice. <coughs> yeah, yeah, talking to people can be nice sometimes. Oh, hush. Hushing. Go eat your roomy best pal fancy dinner. I'll do just that. Have a nice night, Iggy. Don't stress. I'll try not to. And you too. Aww. That's very, that's very sweet. Yay, he's in the cocoon! <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and refill his battery, and we'll I'll skip to the next Gidget conversation, so I'll see you all, I'll see you all then. Okay, I'm interrupting my jump cut for a second here, but I just got, you might not believe me, I just got three anxious days in a row. Three in a row! Um, Karen, if you're watching this, can you explain that? I literally got three in a row. How? Alright, jump cut over, let's talk to Gidget again. Iggy! Oh, oops. Iggy! Iggy! Hello? Sorry, I just really, really, really need to ask you something. Is everything okay? No, Iggy, everything is not okay. I'm plagued. Plagued? You will? Yes. Have you watched Santa Clar Clarita Diet? What is that? Is this a disease? Yes, a disease named Timothy Oliphant. Hello? Iggy, is he everything? I'm confused. <clears throat> Don't be confused. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh wait, wait, is that a real show? Wait, hold on, what was it called? Santa Clarita Diet. Okay, hold on, wait, let me actually look this up. Oh my god, it's an actual show! It's a horror series. From 2017. Huh. <coughs> I actually did not know that. That is... That is very interesting. Look at him. Then all your questions will be answered. I'm still confused. Hey, look at this man. Look at him! <laughs> Let me guess, Gidget simps over him. I see. I'm looking? I'm losing my mind, Iggy. <laughs> I see, I've seen that meme. <laughs> Help, what is this? It's me! If you even care. I'm so lost right now. This man needs to be arrested. He does? Yes, so he can stop torturing my body and soul. My god. Are you alright? No. Okay, wait, is he- does he not like him? What was the deal? I- I don't understand. <laughs> we already established this. I am not okay. I guess he does look pretty nice. Nice? Nice? He is like a rugged Adonis descended from the land of quirky perfect men vessel. I'm going to eat him alive. Help! But if you eat him, won't he be dead? Do not preach logic at me, Iggy. I am too far gone. I am never going to recover. This is so intense. <coughs> you must watch it with me. Then you'll understand. 
still empathize with my plight. Hey, I need someone to scream at. And Cecil has already put me in a timeout. A timeout? He told me I was being outrageous. He would use a word like that. Right? He doesn't understand how much I'm, I'm suffering. I put up with his stoic swooning over Mads Mc... Mads Mc... McKelson. Stoic? Yeah. He pretends it's nothing. But I can see it in his eyes. Hmm. Sob. I'll just have to wither away and die. Don't do that! I must. It's the only way. If only... I could... If only I could see his face again. There he is. Gidget, you're ridiculous. But that's okay. I support your love for, for this dapper gentleman. Oh, she does simp for him. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Iggy. That means a lot. I'm so glad I can have your support in my time of need. You're so welcome. Okay, I'm gonna go binge watch both seasons again. Bye, Iggy. Great chat. Help. Enjoy that, I guess. <laughs> Oh. Day 15. Ooh. Oh, oh, we're halfway book. We're halfway there. <coughs> hey, kiddo. Your Gma wants to know if you want, want more mug cakes. Pop. Ah. More? Give me like 20 last year. You want them or not? I'm pretty sure I haven't even finished them. There's things somewhat... Somewhere looking like a giant suspicious bags of white powder. Eat them. I don't actually even like them that much. Okay, I'll tell her you're keen for more. That's not what I said. She loves getting them. Uh, I'm gonna be drowning in mug cake mix. <clears throat> deal, deal with it. Oh. Mm, poor Eggy. Young man suddenly wonders where he stored the copious amounts of mug cake mix. When he finds not in, in the kitchen, he tries under the bed. He gropes around within the darkness, and in doing so, finds something unexpected. Oh? The heck? After a few moments of thought, however, he remembers the origin of this object. Oh yeah! <clears throat> A deluge of memories flooding his head, he excitedly goes to the Texas friend. <coughs> Guess what I found? What? That our hackathon trophy. OMG! How do you how do you even still have that? Well, I didn't know I did, I guess. Well You should you should display it proudly. <coughs> A symbol of our unfathomable intellect and unbridled teamwork. Honestly real. We spent so many hours on the computer lab on that stupid project. Stupid? Iggy. A program that can calculate every possibility in the life of a unicorn colony is not stupid. Well, it is a bit silly. More like life-altering. World-changing. Nobel Prize winning. Sure, if we can find a real unicorn colony. Hey, the framework could be refitted to other animals, too. Which is probably the only reason we want, though. Yeah, let's just have... Let's just have to take out... Let's just have to take out the parts about rainbow dust and consumption and blood harvesting. Those are pretty specific, yeah. We should team up again sometime. Just imagine the sheer power we could bring to the table now. Well, not a bad idea, honestly. I could design something, something, then you code it in. Green team vibes right there. Just have to have an idea for some life-changing new product. And admittedly, I, I admittedly have never been good on the ideation side of things. All <laughs> we can keep our work, our, our eyes open. <coughs> Ideas can ha happen in the most unexpected places, you know. Yeah, even on the toilet. Somehow you laugh, but but it's not like, like that's not true. How else do you think toilet paper got invented? Which Jarman Ultra, less or more, less is more. You're so 
so weird. It's more absorbent than regular Ripple Brand, that's for sure. It's not bad. Wait, you used to love, you're, now you're gonna adore. Iggy, Maxwell, stop quoting toilet paper commercials at me. <laughs> Fine. Thank you. <laughs> cha cha cha. Iggy. Jarman. <laughs> I'm going to shove your head in the toilet next time I see you. Perfect, that will give you a chance to test out my toilet paper absorbency. Maybe we can design a product called How to Keep Keep from Murdering Your Annoying Friend. <clears throat> I don't like that one. That sounds violent. But useful. Maybe. I guess I'll, we'll have to do some re our user research first. And some competitive analysis. It, gotta check out our competitors first, you know? True, true. You are the experienced product designer on this team. Exactly! I'll let you know once I've coded the framework for the anti-killing mechanism. Perfect! We're already cooking with gas. Someone name a, pro a more perfect product. Doesn't exist. We'll be millionaires! I love this for us. Aww. Eight days remain. Alright, we still have some social battery left, uh, well, let's go ahead and get, let's go ahead and get another text conversation in. You just, does your radiator ever make weird noises? A radiator? Mm, I guess sometimes. Like, especially when it's turning on. They'll make these little clinking noise. Interesting. Well, what do you ask? Has your radiator turned into, into the basement monster from Home Alone? Aren't you a bit too old to be scared of household appliances? I'm not scared of it. It's just a bit strange. Uh huh. What kind of noises is it making? Oh, uh, you know, like. Poom, 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 poosh. Funk. UTF? Radiators do not sound like that. That's what it's. I, that's what I was saying. It's concerning. Maybe you should get that checked out. Uh, but that means I need to call my landlord. Yeah, and? He's a bit of an odd duck. I tried to avoid contacting him. Odd duck? What exactly do, has he done? Well, he gets all his mail sent here. Hello? Yeah, I don't know. I had to check it all, all for him. And then stick it down in storage. Um, this does feel a bit odd. Why is he making you do this? Well, he gives me a small discount. Okay. But he gets the weirdest mail, I swear. He gets speeding and parking tickets, like, every week. WTF? I guess he's a terrible driver, lol. Or something. Also, every bill or fine ends up being, like, three late notices. And so they... And so they get, they get all these XPs built up. It's ridiculous. Interesting. I get some, sometimes, I get sometimes forgetting to pay. I sometimes forget to pay a, a fine, but not every single time. You're telling me. It does seem a bit strange. Also, the police came here once. The police? Yeah. I found my landlord left his suitcase unattended at the airport. So they came to return it? ITF? It was very strange. And it also nearly gave me an anxiety attack. Oh god. This guy certainly sounds like a piece of work. Yeah. So you can see my reluctance at contacting him. Yeah, I guess. But do you really want your strange landlord to be the reason behind the, your death of, if that thing explodes? Drastic? Well, I'm just saying. I'd be pretty worried if my radiator was making that kind of noise. Uh... I don't think about it. There's no- there is no think, only do. <laughs> oh, I wish. I do nothing but think. Until the thought overflows. Was overflow from me like an old, like old faithful. What an image. 
Well, give it an old college try anyway. I don't want to see on the news tomorrow that the Brookside apartments have been wiped off the map. Ah, <sighs> fine. That's for you. Just for me? You're saving yourself? <sighs> Just for you and me. That's more like it. Now, go send that fucker the most non confidential yet clearly concerned text you've ever sent. Aye aye, Cap'n. <laughs> you and the Cap'n make it happen. Aww. Oh, that's adorable. Alright, on to the next conversation. Okay, but first, um, I went ahead, got, got more energy, got more money. Oh, the current price is 120. Oh, I thought it was 160. Okay. Okay, let's get the Devil Kirby plush. Plus, I'm just also battery. Yeah! Hey, look at that! It's sitting in my room! It's so cute! It's the little guy! Alright, uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and text someone. And I believe this might be the last conversation, so let's go ahead and text Gidget. Hmm? Ha! <laughs> Oh, hard at work, I see. Of course. It's a bordello tradition, after all. Oh, making cookies? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna see how annoyed we can, we can get my folks this year. <coughs> annoyed? They don't always appreciate Ger Gertie and, and I's decorating. Hey, God, what do you do? Oh, you'll see. Ominous. <coughs> <laughs> Without the prior context, I would have suddenly feared you'd been possessed by Santa Claus. <coughs> Cookies are coming along excellently. I'm glad. Oh, wait. oh my God! Wait, is it supposed? Is that supposed to be uh? That looks like Baby Yoda in a stocking, maybe. Is that Yoda in a stocking? <laughs> Bro, me and Yoda, me, me, and, me and Iggy are sharing a brain cell, I swear. Me and Iggy are sharing brain cells. <laughs> yeah. My mom hates it when we do this. I think it's very creative. Thank you. You're doing everything yourself? Nah, my mom makes the dough and then Gertie and I use the, co use the cookie cutters. Then my dad mans the oven. A family affair. That's nice. Company, of course, by the most festive of tunes. Oh yeah, what's that? Tonight belongs to all children. <laughs> Lovely. Wait, wait, wait. Just send you a voice recording. Wait, can I actually listen to this? Please tell me I- Aw, oh, come on, I wanted to listen to your say. Beautiful. Compelling. Felt like Man Manolo was standing right next to me. And I've done my duty. <laughs> Decorating has begun. I'm filled with equal parts fear and unabashed excitement. Oh, you better be unabashed. The parents have retreated to the couch. We have free reign on the frosting canvas. I'm so happy for you. Oh, that's cool. My first piece? Oh, the intriguing design. The mixture of red and green to create a sort of unappetizing gray make is remarkable. It evokes a sense of unending internal torment. I mean, to me, it just—I mean, to me, it just looks like the stuff, the the uh, sparkly stuff that you put around the tree—not the lights, but like the other stuff. Well, uh, tinsel. That's it's called tinsel, right? I used to think so. It evokes a sense of unending internal torment. I'm glad you could. You can appreciate my artistry. Truly a Picasso in the making. <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. Oh. I sense sort of simp simplistic beauty in this one. The complete lack of frosting aside from the oasis at the center. And only a single candy cane sprinkle to guide your path. As though wandering an endless void in search of salvation. Mostly, I just thought it was hilarious, lol. 
That too. Pretty says it looks like the end of time. Yeah, it does have those vibes. <laughs> What's happening here? Wolverine Christmas tree, of course. Uh, a Bordeaux classic. I see. My mom hates this one the most. It's a discuss. It's a discussion piece. Yeah, discussing if I'm gonna get the sewn or not. Hello? It was a joke. I forgot your sarcasm detector has a few bugs in it. More like an entire army of ants. Is that why you were so obsessed with ants as a kid? Hey, ants are cool. Cool enough to check out every single book in the library on ants on a weekly basis. I like I like the one where the kids shrunk down to ant size. Oh, wait, is that a honey I shrunk the kids? You would. Last one. Made this one just for you. <laughs> now this. This is excellent. I thought you might appreciate it. <laughs> I only hope it I taste as delicious as it looks. How can you go wrong with that- well, that sugar? <laughs> well, that's all of them. 50 cookies, baked, frosted, and packed. They're, they're masterworks. All you- all you can't go wrong. Now, now to sit down by the fire for some celebratory eggnog. <laughs> Enjoy that. Oh, I shall, lady. I shall. <laughs> 21st day. Oh, he hugs the little Kirby plush! He hugs the Kirby plush! Oh, that's so cool! He, oh, he gets a little special message too! This is so cool! Kirby! I know! Oh my god, Ca Carrot, you have outdone yourself. Look at him! He's so cute! He's just a little guy! I love him with my heart, body, and soul. I love him with the depths of my being. I will smother him with love every day. As you should! Real though, best purchase I ever made. I'm so happy for you. We could all use something cute and pink to squeeze and make all the troubles of the world go away. He fills me with such calm. What could this gift for yourself? Maybe. Just a little treat. <clears throat> I don't buy myself enough treats, perhaps. That's a crying shame. You should always purchase the- for the, One should always purchase for themselves ample treats. True. But one must also pay attention to their dwindling bank account. Unfortunately, also true. I'm glad you were able to find the funds for this little guy, though. It feels, it feels a bit like you're in need of something nice for a change. <laughs> maybe. I've been a bit anxious lately. Not that I'm not u usually a anyway, but... Well, this time of year always has a lot going, to going on. It can get a bit overwhelming. Yeah. Anyway, just wanted to show them all. <laughs> Thanks. Made me smile. You are so very welcome. Feeling well. I'll care for him for the rest of my days. Salute. <laughs> oh, I didn't I didn't know that would happen. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Wait, did, wait, did the other two have reactions to the B Kirby plush? I need to know. <laughs> um anyways, uh Anyways, I think we have just enough social batteries, so I'm gonna test Gidget one last time. And I think that and I think that should be and I think that should be it for our ending. And yes, I'm gonna be doing Gidget's route entirely in this episode. I am not gonna split this into two parts. Hey. Save your hey Hey, you might you might marry a horse. I'm not texting you anymore. No! It was just... 
It was just too hard to resist. That's what I get for trying to be more social. You have indeed been more chatty lately. I appreciate the effort. Especially as I know how grueling it must be for you, well... Made more grueling daily by my conversation partner. <sighs> What's up? I'm getting ready to leave in a bit. Oh, where are you off to? Just a night out with the friends. Grabbing dinner, then we'll probably hit a bar or something. Sounds opulent. Not sure I'd describe a 9.99 chicken Caesar salad as opulent, but sure. Anything, anything can be opulent. It's all about the attitude. Hmm. Is this opulent enough? Gidget looks a lot like 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 a casual lady. I don't know why. So opulent. The most opulent even. I'd I'd ask if you want to join, but if it wasn't already sure, you'd say no. Well, yeah, I figured. I don't mind the ask though. Makes me feel included without being included. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I'll think about your chicken Caesar salad as I consume my microwave fat free refined beamed enchilada. That sounds disgusting? I eat them almost every night. Icky. Or bran flakes. Hmm. I like a very exciting quiz quizinary lifestyle. Maybe treat yourself to something with nutritional content every now and then. A little variety will hurt you. Yeah, well... I... Well, a lot could kill you. See if... See if you're... If one, see if one of the guys is doing something tonight. Maybe you could share a food order. I'll consider it. Uh, triple sigh. You know what so does sound good? What? Pizza. Can't argue with that. Order yourself one. That's expensive. It's just one pizza night. I give you permission. Mm. I'll order one and have it sent to your apartment if you don't. No, don't. It, it's not like a, I don't remember your pizza order. Pepperoni with no sauce. Any order of breadsticks, of course. Gidget, don't. I feel too guilty. Then do it. I'm a growing boy, you need sustenance. Growing? I think I would die if I kept growing. Please let me just shrink it dead. Hey TF, you're not even tall. No, not to you I'm not. I mean, compared to Gento and Orlum, he's very tall. But to so many other people, I might as well be a giant. Dear God, Iggy. You have some weird pers perspectives on yourself. If, I, if I'm too tall, I can't hide away and pretend I don't exist, lol. That's a good thing, though? I want to be a flea. A tiny little flea. I know a number of people who, who like how tall you are. What? Just saying. Who on earth are you talking about, about to about my height? No one. Uh huh. Just know that it's appreciated by some. I'll I'll try to keep that in mind next time I'm wallowing in self-induced in height misery. Seriously though, you're like a great height. Hmm. Perfect kiss height. Hello. <laughs> you're so easy to get riled up. Ah. <sighs> Never change, Iggy. Well, I'm basically allergic to change, so... I don't see that happening anytime soon. Perfect. On that note, I need to skedaddle. Cecil is tut-tutting at the door, which, uh, which must mean I'm causing a delay. Well... Doesn't he know how the, about the concept of fashionably late? He doesn't know about the concept of fashionably anything. Him and me both, perhaps. Real. Okay, bye, Iggy. Have a good, good night. Eat pizza. Pizza the emoji. <laughs> oh. 
And here we go. Hey, little birdies want to know if you've made up your mind or not. Little birdies? Okay, one birdie. A birdie named me. Hello, birdie named me. For fuck's sake, Iggy. <laughs> Are you going to the party or not? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Did you completely forget? No. I just have... I have just conveniently purged it from my mind is all. Iggy. I know, I know. You know if you're still having reservations, I could like, mm, go with you. Go with me? What, like a date? <laughs> um, I mean, if you want to call it that. I just thought, uh, we could hang out there together. Maybe it, maybe it would help you feel a bit less overwhelmed. I see. But, but no pressure, of course. It would be nice to have someone. I do think I'll probably go. At this point, anyway. Need to, like, double-check everything, though. Of course, of course. Preparations are key. <laughs> yeah. Um, thanks. Of course. Just, uh, wanted to make sure Cinderella could have a prince if if he did so well. You know. A very handsome one at that. <laughs> Sweet! Uh, well, I guess I'll, uh, See you tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to you later. Alright, I got 20 bucks for the Uber. Okay, uh, we, we still do something. So, uh. Shock parts candy. Um. Yeah, I'm going to fill my social battery, and then we'll get to the Gidget ending. Okay, I'll see you all there. Alright, here we are with the Gidget ending. Everything will be fine. Gidget will be there. And it'd be fun. Yeah, fun. A joyful evening with friends. I saw the house come into view as they rounded the corner. His carriage driver slowly pulled over next to the curb. The young man felt prickles of anxiety begin to form his gut. Did he really do this? Maybe he couldn't. Maybe all this was just one big giant mistake. It wasn't any kind of Cinderella. It was just Iggy Maxwell, an anxious freelance developer who never left his apartment. Who is he thinking that he could he could be more than that? Yeah, it's the same dialogue, just as he's about to ask the driver to come back home. It's a familiar figure by the door. Are you gonna see them? Iggy! Gidget? What in the world are you doing out here? <laughs> um, well, I just thought I'd wait for you. Out in the cold? It's not that cold. Uh, maybe it's a little cold. Oh. <laughs> I just like Iggy's deadpan expression here. <laughs> that, that's just funny to me. I, uh, I guess I was just worried. What, wanted you to see a friendly face when you arrived. Anyway, uh, you look great. You don't look so bad yourself. <laughs> you wanna head inside? You read my mind. Ah. Well, here we are. Thus did the party begin. The young man felt a tad overwhelmed at first. Gidget was beside him every step of the way. Her cheerful demeanor and calm presence a beacon of comfort amongst the bustling partygoers. They talked, drank, ate, and laughed. When Gidget touched never more than a few inches away, the young man felt a bit more at ease around Gidget. He actually felt himself starting to enjoy himself. Maybe. Maybe not. But even he couldn't deny the soft smile forming on his lips as the night went on. Nor the way he instinctively settled in against Gidget's side as they helped him na navigate one of the rooms to the next. 
no calm next to Gidget, as though he had someone constantly watching over him. As the night wore on, people moved from talking to eating to dancing, he grew more and more relaxed. So it's so that when a slow number came on and Gidget asked him if he wanted to dance with a little smile, he said sure. Oh, oh, they're taller than him. You doing okay? Me? I, uh, yeah, I'm doing fine. That's good. You almost seem like you're having a good time. <laughs> Maybe I am a little. The jury's still out on that one, though. We've got a comedian in the house. What can I say? I resort to overused cynical ad adages when I don't know what else to say. Well... I'm glad. That I never say anything unique? No. Iggy, God. <laughs> you're such a dork sometimes. I meant that you're having a good time. And that... Uh, and that you came. Hmm... What? <laughs> um... Iggy, there's... There's something I've been meaning to say to you. For a long time, actually. Oh? God, I feel so ridiculous. It's just... I like being with you, Iggy. I like being with you too? Yeah, er, I mean, a bit more than that. Aww. Here, this party, it. It gave me a chance to be something I always wanted to be. What's that? The prince. Aww. It sounds a bit silly and childish, but. But it felt a little bit like a dream come true. Being with you here, dancing like this, I, I like it too. You do? I think so. Iggy, would you mind if I did something right now? Hmm? Something I've wanted to do for a long time. Oop! And here comes Bugs with Bugs with her interruption. <laughs> Alright, let's just see how anxious Gidget gets. <laughs> no, nope, they're just surprised. They, they just look very surprised. Like, oh, they're just looking at they just look at you like you like they're looking at you like you did something weird at a party. Oh wait. <laughs> As the party grew more and more raucous, and the young man felt his anxiety begin to grow. He wasn't prepared for this. Not even Gidget's gentle reassurance can calm his racing of his heart, <coughs> nor the shaking of his hands. He couldn't even hear himself think. He kept being bumped and jostled by those around him. The more his discomfort grew, the smaller he became. He began extremely creeping towards the door. Iggy, what's wrong? I think I'm gonna leave. Is everything okay? You look like you've seen a ghost! I don't think I... Just... Iggy, maybe we can try to find somewhere quiet? I'm sorry. Without another word, the young man went flying out the door. Oblivious to the surroundings, he charged straight into the snow. Okay, yeah, this is the exact same dialogue as before. So I'll just uh, I'll just skip ahead to when Gidget texts us at home. Uh, I'm actually sad that not even the giant Kirby plush can the giant Kirby plush can Hey, Iggy. I'm sorry about last night. About what happened. And just the fact that I didn't do more to help. I should've... Hmm. Anyway. I found your shoe. Not sure you even know if you lost it. Scratch that, I'm sure you know. I just, uh... Was really worried, I guess. And still am. But I hope you got some rest and feel a bit better today. Ask me if you need anything, yeah? And, uh, have a nice Christmas. Oh. You get together with the fam yesterday? We had a, we had a nice jolly time at the, at the Bordeaux household. <laughs> we somehow managed to get all, to all get my dad and had the same gift again. Can you believe it? A little hopeless to at this, maybe. <laughs> anyway, uh, just thinking about you. Just hoped you were okay, is all. And that you were having a nice time, too. That's, uh, that's all. Hey! 
stranger. You doing all right over there? Sudden rush of work or something? Been pretty worried about the last few days. Let me know you're still alive, yeah? I don't want to lose any more sleep over you, you dumb butt. I don't know if I don't know if making it I don't know if making jokes is the right way, kick it. Is this about me? What I said? If it is, I I'm really sorry. <coughs> it was selfish of me to just say all that without thinking about your feelings. <coughs> Especially when I knew you were already overwhelmed. I uh I do really like you, Iggy. I value you our friendship more. So it's just it's real, so it's really fine if uh, you just want to forget what happened. Yeah. Hey, Yigi. <coughs> Sorry if, if I'm just annoying you at this point. It was New Year's Eve today. And I, uh, I guess somehow that meant something to me, so I thought I'd try it one last time. <coughs> Maybe. Mm hmm. I thought about heading downtown tonight. Just need to get out, you know? Yeah? And I thought that maybe he, he wanted you and I could talk or something. No pressure, of course. Just thought I'd ask. I, uh, I miss you. But I'll stop badgering you after this. I promise. Anyway, uh, maybe I'll see you tonight. Maybe. If not, wish Mama and Papa Maxwell Happy New Year's for me. Yeah? Bye. Iggy? Get the fuck out of bed. Out of bed. Naomi has quietly on the bus. His thoughts are as a whirl as the snow passing by the window. He didn't know what to expect, <clears throat> and that perhaps scared him most of all. And yet, he couldn't resist the pull of his heart. So despite the anxious churning in his bowels, he allowed his new carriage to carry him forward. But once it's just warm with the tiniest spark of hope. Oh. Hey, Gidget. Gidget? Hmm? Oh, you, you actually came. I was starting to worry that maybe, maybe, yeah, I'm, I'm here. Sorry for making you worry. <laughs> Aww. You're not cold? No, I, I'm fine. It's nice to be honest. <laughs> yeah, nothing like a little bit, a little bit. Fighting wind to bring some color to your cheeks. Yeah. And if you're here, then... Hmm... Does that mean... I don't really know what it means. But... But I do know that I don't want to lose you. And also that... I do enjoy being around you. With you. To be honest, all of this is really new to me. I don't really understand. Everything I'm feeling... <laughs> I get that. I don't fully understand it either. Really? Higgy, you don't have to be a ace to be confused about love. Yeah, that's true. Good point. <laughs> I do know one thing, though. You mean a lot to me. And I'd love to spend more time with you. If you let me. I think I like that, too. Oh, I completely forgot. I have your shoe. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. Could be really princely right now to put it back on if you want. <laughs> um, yeah, didn't think so. Maybe another time then? If you'll allow me to be your prince again, I guess. <laughs> sure. I like that. Iggy, I was gonna do something the other night at the party. Um... Do you mind if I do it now? It's just that the moment feels kind of right. Hmm? Oh, uh, sure. 
You know, you're pretty cute for an anxious Cinderella, yeah. I am? Yeah. Come here. Do you see it? Oh! <laughs> hey, there we go. <sighs> ah, no. And that's probably the last ending of the game. At least said. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna let these credits roll. That was awesome. Oh, and, and they're snuggling in bed. That's adorable. And they got the little curry plush above them too. <laughs> this is adorable. <sighs> there we go. Stay in bed. <laughs> The end. Here's your round. Well, this was amazing. <clears throat> but 
I think that's gonna do it for this series, everybody. Wow. I was not expecting this game to be so good, but it is. It's amazing. Wait, what am I saying? Of course I expected it to be good. Uh, but yeah, this is probably the most amazing game I've ever played. I think that believe that is all the endings I could probably get. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment what you think, share this video with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to the bell so you don't miss a single notification. I'll see all of you in the next video. Goodbye! But you never do Sugar, there's a reason